clubs, snakes for mobile shoulders, elbows, wrists, and really functional, active, active grip. So I've been talking about this a little bit with some friends. Uh, noticed that there was some question about knob swinging and whether or not it was fun. I think knob swinging is really useful, especially in the context of building an active grip, which I recommend. Uh, you can't always death grip the club, don't recommend that, but you can't always hold it so loosely that it barely holds in your hand either. So you have to maintain an active grip. Going from the full grip to maybe your casting and possibly even saber, sometimes going to ring or circus, ball and socket, right? And even snake grip. And being able to easily switch back and forth between not only the grip positions, but the hand positions as well, as well allows you to have, in my opinion, more entertaining club work. Because you can play around. You can really get to know where you're functional. Uh, where do your hands really work? Can you get into this position with your hand way up high behind your back and make a really smooth wrist circle there in that position? And if you can't, maybe you should. Give it a go. I mean, I was in here the other night and I watched somebody's arm get put behind their back like that and then watch their wrist get bent, and they had to tap because that was a wrist lock. Now, I'm not saying that they wouldn't have been able to get out of it, or that they would have been able to get out of it, or that it wouldn't have been more effective on them, but it might have given them a little bit more space, and at the end of it, uh, after the lock had been applied, they might have recovered their strength and mobility a little bit faster because their body was really comfortable and already educated about that position, and how to move in that position. So, just a little pro tip, uh, promote an active grip. Keep your fingers active, let them do what they're supposed to do, open and close, uh, and in as many combinations as possible, right? Play around. Uh, if you've seen games like where you touch your fingertips like that, and then you start going crossways with them, where you're touching uh, maybe the opposite fingers on each side, right? Those kind of things, not only do they help our fingers and hands, but they help our brains. And if you know me, you know things about me, you probably know that I'm really fascinated with by how this helps this. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.